scam alert. Facebook, major scam alert. You see this message I just got that says Facebook blocking? It starts off by saying, uh, notice, blocking Facebook account. Notice we've received feedback that your account may not be authentic. Facebook is a community where people share and interact using real identity. Please reconfirm your Facebook account below. It leaves a link. And then attention all accounts that are not verified within 24 hours will be removed from our database and the user will not be able to reuse it again. Thank you for your attention, Facebook. Copyright 2014. Copyright Network Incorporated. Uh, I wrote them back some bullshit just to buy some time. Um, and uh, here is uh, basically what I found. Um, this is where it brings you. It wants you to confirm your password and edit your account settings. Um, I'll give them my real phone number. I'm going to give them a fake password. Eat me raw. Okay, I'm going to log in. My computer is going to ask me, do I want to update? No. Wow, okay, now it wants me to confirm my account. It, apparently it logged me in. See? Now it says log out. Doesn't tell you that you're actually logged in with your name or any of that information. So you just put this information in, which I just put fake information in, and it automatically pulled this up asking me to verify my correct information. So let's do that. Let's give them let's give them my information. Um Oh, I want to be too bad now. Eat shit asshole at gowet.com. We probably should put real S's in there. Password. Busted. Password to email. Busted. Please choose. Uh, let's just choose anything. Date of birth. Uh, let's choose anything. Um, uh, something random. Something random. Okay. Uh, choose a security question. Uh, what was your grandmother's occupation? Serial killer. <laughs> okay. Uh, country select one let's say Afghanistan okay we're gonna confirm that okay confirmed Con confirmation account Facebook security to protect your financial information we may occasionally ask you to authorize a transaction by providing additional information so they're gonna ask you for your account number here so let's give them our account number Oh, worked. Oh, cool. First name. Type uh, American Express expiration date, yeah, whatever. Uh, seven seven bottles, no, anyway, wrong address. Billings, how about Montana? Country. Oh, let's see here. That's pretty bad that you got to scan all the way down to get to the United States, huh? And let's see. Uh, we're going to confirm this bullshit. And it takes you right to Facebook logs you in with all of your original logins to make you think that you actually just spoke 
to Facebook with your little message popping right back up, which they did was they redirected you just back to facebook.com, which your own settings have an automatic to sign you in. So this is what, this is the typical scam to try and get your credit card information. Um, they'll never send you a private message like this. This won't happen like this in a chat. It will not. Beware, beware, beware. And no, because the link that they give you is not a Facebook link. Look at it. It's not a Facebook link to Facebook.com. All right, just so you guys know, beware. Just a quick search just to add to this, and I'll, I'll put this link in the description. Um, Facebook scam asks users to confirm their identity. This gives you basically the setup. Uh, exactly what I just showed you and uh, um, shows you the type of way it works um, so it may give you an idea that there are other uh, this, this should not be allowed there should th first of all the way this came uh, with a uh, Facebook blocking First of all, anything that's, that has the name Facebook in it should be flagged and should immediately go to, to be reviewed by Facebook to make sure that people aren't doing exactly what they're doing here. This is absolutely, absolutely unacceptable. This is somebody, whoever's IP, that is using Facebook C2, 2014 Copyright Network Incorporated. Uh, if, if Facebook doesn't go after these people in, in court... Um, then we know that, that that they're not doing anything about it. So I'd like to not to think that way. I'd like to, uh, 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 at this point, Facebook has some answering to do too as to why they're allowing this to go on. If there's articles printed about it, why this is still being, uh, why this is happening while all of our security is undermined and, and everything that we have is subject to scrutiny. Why is this occurring? And why is this occurring to people um, similarly uh, who I've been speaking to or that all stand out against uh, the Obama administration? That's another odd little thing that we don't hear. Uh, I have, I'm a libertarian. I have friends that are both uh, on both sides. I don't hear any of my, my liberal friends screaming that this is happening to them, only my conservative friends. Here we go again with targeting. Is this a possibility that this could be happening? You be the judge. Uh, and let's dig into this more. Resurrect the Republic, Dirty Uncle Sam, Truth Radio Broadcast, RBN. I'm here to give you guys a message. This message could save this nation. It's the answer. It's the truth unadulterated and untarnished by the years and by the school system, stuff you're not taught in school, that in 1868, 11 states delegates were forced out of the ratification process of the 14th Amendment. That 14th Amendment changed the jurisdiction of the Constitution forever. and a constitutional officer is accountable to the people. I pledge to you that I will never waver from that awesome responsibility. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. Now what you're hearing
morning here, August 5th, 2014. Uh, and the Board of Commissioners of this county in Georgia. Henry County. Uh, Henry County, Georgia. Uh, they are taking uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, and then you're going to hear a man address the county uh, board. You received some paperwork from me uh, last, uh, at last meeting. The Atlanta Regional Commission has affiliations of Global Impact and is affiliated with ICLEI and also Agenda 21. Those are absolutely and positively in direct opposition of the uh, ICLEI is absolutely, absolutely dangerous. Uh, ICLEI is a the communist plot from many years ago. Rather than going from the top down, they're taking a two-sided approach. They're not just hitting us from the top. They're hitting us from the communities. They're coming up in our local towns. They're offering these politicians sums of money. They're agreeing to the money, and then they have to agree to the stipulations, and then they have them with their uh, corporate fascist communist hold. People need to be strictly aware of this problem. Sedition, if, in fact... Sovereignty is, is in desperate, dire danger. They are trying to change our form of government, and it does appear that they are because they are working towards a uh, mega city complex for 11 regions here in this nation. So, with that. Why do I attach this onto the Facebook warning? Because Facebook warning gets your attention. Some of this seems a little bit dry, but you people need to pay attention. This is what's happening, and it's happening right now happening and, and and the borders everything everything that you see going on is part of it it is an undermining of our our national sovereignty our state sovereignty and our county sheriffs absolutely undermines them the tenth amendment undermines first second amendments undermines fourth amendment sixth amendments this is serious serious stuff that, that we're dealing with right here i have some paperwork that i want to present to you this is carl alfred but the uh that issue on the southern border is most definitely showing that the president is in direct conflict with his oath of office to protect the border. He has opened it up. I want to state that I deny the Henry County offices, these offices and the offices over here, are acting in full compliance to the supreme law of the land and the Georgia Constitution. I require the jurisdiction the county courts are operating under when prosecuting vic victimless crimes, whether it be common law, equity, or admiralty maritime. And I require the suspension of operations of the county court until such time as full compliance with supreme law of the land can be proven and verified. Constitutional law. These responses need to be in writing under oath and full corporate liability. Amen. Amen. This I do on behalf of the Patrick Henry Board of Review. So, gentlemen, it is now in your court. I would like to give these to you, and if you would prefer, I'll give them to the clerk. Kind of give to the clerk. Sure. Pat Patrick Henry, Board of Review. Look into that. The people you represent, uh, I being one of them, and uh, they represent the will of uh, the people that you really don't really get a chance to meet because you're really busy over here doing a yeoman's job, by the way, of maintaining the corporation. <laughs> as we know it, the Henry County Corporation, here, as here. a subsidiary of <laughs> the state of Georgia Corporation, as a subsidiary of the United States Corporation. You guys are, you know, intertwined like I've never seen anything intertwined before. <laughs> Continue, which you obviously are, down that path. You are now in a state of rebellion, along with the president, along with the government, you are part of the corporation, not a part of the people. You are the fiction 
not the reality. The seats that you occupy are seats <laughs> that we voted for you to take. And yeah, now yeah. you have Man, this stuff, Bruce. And those seats yeah, here. by the fiction that you represent. You do not represent hey, yo. the constitutional, organic <laughs> constitutional people of this county until and unless you address this issue and until and unless you get rid of the fraud. The fraud is the people who are representing you. You have placed faith in people.